You cannot open your boss. You cannot open your boss, please. MPP. MPP, let's please let's make progress so that we write to that. What did you let's pick? Sure. What did you pick? Can you show it to the camera? New Petroti Pass, number one. MPP number one. Number one. This is real. Yes, it is real. APC, what did you pick? Please, when you finish, I'll take my home. Please, APC number nine. APC number nine. Please, can I get a ball? Boom. Boom. Boom hand number four. NDP number number six NDP GMP number three GCPP number two. NDC number eight. Number eight for NDC. NDC. Number five. Can I get a Thank you. CPP. Number seven for CP. Are they taking a picture? You can keep them. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, representatives of political parties, I want to take you through the positions on the ballot. On the ballot paper, MPP will be the first position. The second position will be GCPP. The second position will be G. So the third position will be GFP. The fourth position will be GUM. The fifth position will be LPG. The sixth position will be NDP. The seventh position will be CPP. Eight position will be NDC and nine position will be APC. So that is the all positions on the presidential ballot. We thank you for your cooperation. It is now the time for the independent candidates. So, so uh, the political parties can excuse us. Wish you all the best. Unless you want to witness that of the independent candidates. The candidate, let them sit closer. Thank you.
Election Command Center, what you have just witnessed, the political parties pick their positions on the ballot paper for the general elections in December of 2024. I'll take you over the list again. You know, after all the confusion over, uh, you know, the transparency of the process, the Electoral Com Commission made some adjustments, but we know that post the adjustments, uh, Dr. Mohamed Dubawamia remains number one on the on the ballot paper number two is daniel augustus latte uh, jr uh, son of uh, dan latte of the great consolidated popular party third on the ballot paper is equia donko of the ghana freedom party fourth on the ballot paper is gooms christian uh, kwabena andrews and number five is kofi akpalu of the liberal uh, party of ghana number six is the NDP, the National Democratic Party. Uh, Mohamed Frimpong takes that position on the ballot paper. Uh, number seven is the Nakosia Frimpong Kumankuma of the Convention People's Party. Number eight is the NDC's John Dramani Mahama. And number nine is Hassan Ayariga of the All People's Congress. The next phase of the exercise is for the independent candidate to also ballot for their places on the voting sheet or the voter sheet uh, come December 7th, 2024. And in a bit, we'll go there uh, so that we bring you closer to the process uh, that gives the independent candidate as well a chance on that ballot paper. Uh, wrap, you know, it takes us a step closer to the election. So remember, it's 77 days, and this is another stage that we need to cross in order to uh, be able to go into that booth on December 7th to vote. And if I may go over the, the list again for the political parties. Mohamed Dubaomia comes first on the ballot paper, followed by Daniel Augustus Lati of the Great Consolidated P Popular Party. Number three is Equia Donko, Ghana Freedom Party. Number four is Christian Kwabna Andrews of Ghana Union Movement. And then number five is Kofi Akpalu of the Liberal Party of Ghana. Number six is Mohamed Frimpong of the National Democratic Party, NDP. Number seven is Nanakosia Frimpoma Kumankuma of the Convention People's Party. And number eight is the NDC's John Dramani Mahama. Finally, we see the APC's uh, Hassan Ayariga being the, uh, taking the number nine position on the ballot paper. Remember, there are 13 candidates. But four of them are independent candidates, and this is the stage where we are. They will also pick from number 10, 11, 12, uh, you know, 13th, uh, you know, because there are 13 of them. You, you understand that. So we'll see these independent candidates, these four, including uh, Nana Kwame Bediakon, uh, Alan Tremanting. Uh, we also know there is Jochum um, Berima Edu and Kofi Kuranting. All four of them are represented there. We see that Kofi Kurantin is there himself. Nana Kwame Bediako of the New Force Movement is also there himself. Uh, Alan Tremantin is represented by Yabwabia Samwa over there. The uh, Jochum Berima Edu is also represented there. We will see each one of them also go through the same process. The political parties have gone through from 10 to 13. So they'll pick between the numbers 10, 11, 12, and 13th in order to place them on the ballot paper. Let's listen in now. So please mention the party the, the, in order of submission and let us go. So um, we are calling the independent candidates in this order. We'd like to invite Nana Kwame Yaku. 
the order of filing. Order of filing. Candidates are going through the same process. In order of filing, they will pick the first set of balls, and then those set of balls will determine how they pick their positions on the ballot paper. But right now, I want to speak with Haruna Mohammed of the NPP. Haruna, uh, Dr. Mohammed Dubaumia and the NPP come number one on the ballot paper. How does that come to you? Um, I think that this is the oneness of God. Uh, the Lord, the good God that we worship is one. He has no companion. And I believe that Dr. Baudia represents the future of this party. We need one individual to be able to resonate well and take Ghana from where we have it today. And I believe that that is a sign of victory. That is a sign of forward movement. That is a sign that Ghana will shine again. I see. Uh, that victory you speak about was, was not without the confusion that preceded the uh, you know, the balloting we have witnessed at the headquarters of the Electoral Commission. Uh, your representative there, Evans Nimakon, uh, you know, tried to make the point that the process is as transparent as possible. Watching from where you are, what did you make, about, what did you make of the process? Um, I, 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 I wasn't there. I went for, I went for a peace, uh, National Peace Council meeting at Kofi Annan. Uh, I have not been able to abreast myself with the preceding events before the picking of the ballot. But what I do understand is that uh, it is clearly stated that um, they would do so in order of filing. And you know, uh, His Excellency, the Vice President and the flag bearer of the New Patriotic Party, was the first person to visit the Electoral Commission to file his nomination in the company of the General Secretary, the National Chairman, the Campaign Chairman, and all the dignities within the rank and file of the New Patriotic Party. So if that, that has been the norm, and then we have been doing this in political cycles, to always agree with the rules before you start. So if this has been the, the, the practice or something that has been agreed upon, I don't see why political parties would be uh, uh, fighting over some of this. But I said I don't know mm. what the issues were, and I cannot speak to the events that happened, but to speak to the fact that we picked number one, and I think that this is a sign of victory for us. I see. And, uh, you know, in, in past elections, we have seen how political parties have folded their positions on the ballot paper in their messaging. Are we going to see some kind of, uh, you know, some, some of that in the future as far as the NPP's messaging is concerned? Uh, I think that in political cycle, marketing is very key. How you quell your message with respect to your ballot position is very key. All actors within the political cycle uh, will develop messages to represent their position. And I think that the MPP will not do anything different from what we have done uh, in the previous elections. Remember, there was a time we were uh, on, on, on the ballot down there, and we said, So we have always found a way of making sure...